This is a CBS4 Tracking Ian update. I'm Dave Warren. We are watching the radar closely here. It shows that the center of Ian is uh, just past west of Key West within about 75 miles, continuing to move to the north. Now, in that time, that band of rain, we're seeing tropical storm force wind, even hurricane force gusts. The latest has that wind south at 39 miles an hour, 61 mile an hour gust in Key West, drops down to 25 miles an hour sustained in Marathon. If gust of 52 miles an hour and consistent gusts about 30 to 40 miles an hour. So briefly tropical storm force wind out of the southeast about 20 miles an hour uh, here in Miami Dade and Broward surge a big problem there in the lower keys warning in effect two to four foot surge already seen the high tide again the next high tide today uh, just about 10 hours from now right at about 1230 coastal flooding will be minor with that persistent breeze out of the southeast. The problem we've had here across the areas of the tornadoes a number of tornado warnings coming in uh, with wind damage reports coming in across the area. Here's the latest two o'clock in the morning. Hurricane Ian moving north at 10 wind 120 miles an hour, making it a category three over the next six hours. That general movement continues. We'll see these squalls off and on moving through parts of the metro area and in the lower keys. Uh, each one of these has gusty downpours, reduces visibilities and the possibility that we could see a tornado. So stay alert for warnings. A watch is in effect until five o'clock this morning. Next radar network tracking a heavier squall there, a line of showers moving through Broward County and Weston moving into the Everglades that will continue to move off to the northwest. More activity developing just off the coast. And again, we continue to monitor what's happening in the lower keys here with that uh, band of rain bringing in the strong wind, increasing the storm surge. It's nearly stationary for now, uh, but as the storm continues to move to the north, we'll keep an eye on the Gulf Coast with updates throughout the morning. Next comes in at five o'clock. I'll have another update in 30 minutes.